Well, hello there. Uh, you might notice things look a bit different in this video. I uh, got a new camera. Brand spanking new Handycam. Not a Handycam, sorry, it's a Canon. Canon something, 800 something, or one or another. It's working a lot better than the crappy uh, old DSLR, which I still love as a camera, but, um, you know, it's definitely not wasn't meant for video taking like this. So, with a brand new camera, I decided to make a brand new look for the show. The cats are still here, of course. They'll never leave. They'll never, ever leave. This one's much more likely to interrupt the show than Aurelius when she wants to interrupt, so we're gonna put her down. Anyway, so, I still haven't had a chance to finish off the bomber brewing, so I decided let's break in this camera with an old favorite bomber brewing sample pack. Now, I've already gone through the IPA and the pale ale, and I liked both. I really liked the uh, IPA quite a bit, if I recall correctly, and the pale ale was very refreshing. So there's only one left, it's the ESB, the Extra Special Bitters. Now, I'm going to reach in and pull it out because, you know, there's only one left. There's no point in me playing the little game anymore. Bye. Anyway, it's the Extra Special Bitters. Now, as I mentioned before, I'm not too experienced with... Oh dear. Oh dear. Yep. Well, such is life. Um, such is life. Things like this happen. We just kind of have to deal with it as they come along. That's just how you handle it. Sometimes you open up a can and the beer explodes. Ironically, I was very concerned about the uh, previous one and, well, that I dropped said multiple times from Fieldhouse, but um, this is the one that uh, actually decided to explode, despite the fact it's been sitting in the fridge for like two weeks without it being, you know, disturbed in any way. Well, now that I'm soaked, I was going to say I am not experienced with extra special bitters, or regular bitters, or store brand bitters. It's kind of beer I've only tried maybe once or twice, and uh, it was probably in like England or something, and I was probably already drunk at the time, so I didn't really have much of an opinion. As I mentioned before, and everyone always mentions this whenever they mention bitters, they're actually not bitter. I don't know why they're called bitters. Ask the English. Maybe they have an answer. It's their language, I guess. But um, they're oftentimes actually somewhat closer to sweeter. They generally got a bit of malt there or something flavoring it. Not entirely sweet, but definitely sweeter than you'd expect from something called bitter. Anyway, let's read the uh, description. Honoring the classic British ESB and celebrating the innovations of the Akima Valley, our extra special bitter seamlessly blends BC grown barley and the crystal malts of Great Britain with North America's most aromatic hops. They're not really that aromatic as far as I'm concerned, but it's got a nice little scent to it. It's very subtle, very sweet, a little bit sweet. It's not I would call it that aromatic, though. Maybe it was more aromatic before it was brewed, but. Anyway, I'm a complete noob when it comes to brew bitters, so... But then again, I make an ass of myself regularly in here, so, you know, whatever. Cheers! Got kind of a mild sweetness to it. Yeah. Dull, actually. Was this? Now there's still carbonation. I was, I was worried that maybe something might have escaped. It might have gotten flatter beer because it's tasting kind of flat.
Ironically, despite the mass amount of head. I mean, it, 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 the taste is fine, but I'm not. I'm a little concerned. It might have gone flat or something. Okay, I'll, I'll let both of you. I've actually had this one before. I drank the rest of the sampler pack already, so I already have tasted it, and I don't remember it tasting this flat. Ooh, I'm getting a bit of a hops tinge on my tongue there. So that's uh, something different. I'm a little concerned I might have gotten the skunked version of this. Because I, I remember having it previously before, and it tasted better. Um, I like to do my opinions live, so I'm not really going to uh, try and remember the flavor, because I would definitely say something really stupid. So it was definitely uh, seemed a bit more robust when I had it last. There was much more... It, wasn't, it was about the same level of sweetness, but there was a bit more kick behind it. A little bit more oomph in the flavor, in the subtle flavors. I know oomph and subtle is contradicting myself there, but... Yeah... I think this one might be smoked. And unfortunately, I don't have another one on me to try it again. I'm still gonna drink it though. It's not bad or anything. Now, scuffed or not, I'll give my honest opinion on the three ones there. I would say this one's probably still the weakest of all three of them. Of all three of them there. Um, probably I like the pale ale the most. Um, I'd have to honestly look at my own opinions now because it's been since a while since I actually filmed it. There was a bit of a gap between the videos. But I'm pretty sure I like the pale ale the most, but this one was definitely the weakest, whether it was skunked or not. Still, I'm, I enjoyed what I had. Um, I would definitely try a Bomber Brewing if you have a chance, because apparently they're actually quite good. Despite the fact I've never really you know, given them much regard when I saw them at the liquor store. But hey, they've impressed me, so give them a try. I'll give them a try too again. Cheers. I hope you enjoyed the uh, hope you enjoyed the new layout, the new little setting. Please let me know what you think of it. Whether it's uh, good, better, worse. Personally, I don't really care because I'm probably gonna stick it with this because the lighting's way better. Focusing here, I got like a rows of halogens up there just beaming down. That's why you can actually see my face. It's not covered in sand, so to speak. So I'm gonna head off now. You, uh, you have a nice day now. Cheers.